Hi Pisces, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing your You Verse Them love spread. Um, it is timeless, so I trust that when you see this, it's meant to find you. Uh, so Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I think I already said that. Um, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Um, Pisces, I'm going to do your energy on this side, your person's on this side. Feel free to switch roles as you see fit. Uh, it could be the whole side, it could be one or two things. Feel free to flip-flop and reverse um, the energies. If there's one or two things that don't resonate, that's fine. It is general, so leave those for who needs to hear them, okay? If you'd like to book a uh, personal reading, information's in the description box below. And quick announcement, I am doing a free 30-minute personal reading giveaway. Um, I will be doing the drawing on or around April 1st, as I do have people from all over the world in different time zones that watch this. So on or around April 1st um, will be the drawing, and in order to enter, all you have to do is three simple things. Yes, all three. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment your name below. That will get you entered, all right? Um, I did start my Facebook and Instagram page, so if you'd like to follow me on over there um, for other giveaways, live interactive readings that I will be starting to do, um, it's very much appreciated. All right, so let's get into your reading, Pisces. You could be single, you could be in a connection. This is for whoever you are thinking about the most, all right? And Crosswatcher, this uh, reading is intended for Pisces. However, um, I could be speaking to you. You could um, also flip-flop things. Um, if you don't like what you hear, I am sorry. This is intended for Pisces, okay? <laughs> All right, so worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. New love, which I was getting with the getting to know each other. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Trust this situation is calling for you to have faith and very soon clearly decide what it is that you want so it comes to you now. And bottom of the deck, let go of control issues. Um, so just let things flow. Let it happen how it's supposed to, all right? This is divinely guided. Um, I know new love, if it's a new person, um, can be scary, you know? <laughs> Um, are they legit or are they not? You know, um, I'm sure you have all those questions going on. So let's get into it. What is your overall energy for this reading? Go the distance. So you're willing to put in the work. You're willing to do what it takes um, for this connection. Um, you're feeling a very strong bond. Um, have trust. Trust it. Okay. And again, let it let it flow. But you are willing to put in the work. You are willing to give effort towards this. You see it as a good investment. Uh, that it could stand the test of time. It could go all the way, full circle. So what's your person's overall energy here? Just one card, please. The ones that popped out, there's two that want to come out. <laughs> New life and chop wood. All right, so chop wood, putting in the work, putting in the effort to build something, um, something that's strong, something that's sturdy, um, keeping it, uh, you know, new opportunities, um, seeing where this could go, all right? And new life. So this person... Um, it's almost mirroring each other. You know, they're willing to put in the work. You're willing to put in the work. Um, and I feel like they're excited. There's excitement in this card. New life, new relationship. Um, you could be showing them things that they've never seen before, conversations they've never had before. They could be very interested in, like, learning things from you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, you could be teaching them something. A different culture or um, lifting them up you know that kind of a thing giving them positive energy so I feel like they're very excited and motivated about this connection so Pisces let's get into your energy and then we'll go into your persons and see what's going on all right Pisces this is good energy because some of your readings Pisces they some of them are a little bit tough 
with the love department. <laughs> so Pisces, what's going on with Pisces? Seven of Wands. All right, so you could be feeling a little bit guarded or you feel like you have to fight off other people's energies here. This could be like residual from the past um, that you're trying to um, disconnect from or leave behind. Uh, we have the Empress here, which is very good. Um, Taurus energy, Libra energy. Um, feeling very abundant, fertile, um, careful of pregnancy. Um, if you're not planning, because <laughs> it could happen. The Empress is a very fertile um, energy here, but it's loving, caring, nurturing, abundant, makes things happen, makes things grow. Um, again, that's like I was feeling like you motivate this person um, towards abundance. All right, what else? But you could be in that energy right now where you're just feeling really good about yourself and you can make things happen. You know, I'm looking at this and it's like... <laughs> So you have all these wands coming at you and you're you're blocking them, right? And then look at the Empress. She's holding like one stick, like, get away. One wand. Like, woof, get out, get away. I don't need you. I don't want you. Get away. Um, King of Swords, yeah, cutting off, cutting out things that no longer serve you. Um, you could be dealing with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or have strong air placements in your chart, but I feel like, yeah, you're very much in a, it's a very good energy. Um, I almost feel like you're starting to get like centered and grounded and realize who it is that you are, what you're here to do, and you are cutting off and cutting out people that no longer serve you. Um, could be old relationships, friendships, family, just stuff that drags you down. You're looking at things in a whole new light now, I feel like. Um you could have to be blunt with people um, just to really get the point across. You know, if you're used to being a certain way, um, maybe now you're switching it up and becoming this whole new person and people, they don't take that easy, you know. So I feel like you might have to be in that King of Swords energy where you're just very blunt, honest, brutal truth, you know. Um, all right. And the sun chasing your freaking happiness. Leo energy. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing what makes you happy. You're doing what lights you up. The emperor. So we have the empress and the emperor. This person really could be like the one. All right. This could be like the divine counterpart. It is on the bottom of the deck. It didn't fall out. But you have the empress here and the emperor showing its face. So... And you're now energy. That's amazing. You could be bossing up. You could be starting a company, a business, something that's going to grow. Um, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Um, it could be this relationship too. It doesn't have to be business, but it could very well be. Um, let's get into your person's energy here. All right. So they're put, willing to put in work. They want to work on this. They want to make the effort. Um, they could be really focusing on work themselves right now, making um, financial decisions, trying to move to a calmer place. All right. So, yeah, they're putting in work to make their life better, calmer. What else for Pisces person? All right. They could have had a tower moment that came in and woke them up, um, something that was divinely guided. Um, maybe they were going down the wrong path or making the wrong decision, um, possibly regarding you or just in general. And the universe said, nope, wrong way. Turn around. Or let's shake it up. Making something collapse so that way they can rebuild. All right. So if this is a connection that you were in, and it, you know, there was a separation um, for some of you, not all. It was supposed to happen that way. All right. Yeah, it was supposed to happen that way for sure. <laughs> all right. Soulmate connection, equal, equal love. This came out in the challenge position. So I feel like very much this person is focusing on stability, but isn't quite completely there yet. They still need to put in the work, put in the effort, um, keep that focus strong, you know, 
um, in order to achieve that, they also may need to cut out some things that no longer serve them as well. All right. So let's get into um, blockages. What's blocking? Is anything blocking you from this connection? King of Pentacles in reverse. So you could have been connected to an earth sign, um, Taurus specifically, or Virgo Capricorn, um, that you are disconnecting from. All right. Or they, one of you could have. Um, or this is letting go of old. Oh, let me get another card. I was going to say letting go of old, like, responsibilities from past stuff could be the case. Yeah. All right. So someone could have walked away from you, you know, in the recent past. Not this person. Um, could have been an earth sign that walked away, causing some kind of sadness. Or, you know what I'm getting? Because it's a blockage. They, like, weren't walking away from you. But you were done. You were done. With this person you knew it was time to go um but it was like they were not letting you leave um they could have been like guilt tripping you into staying or financially needing you or something like something that has to do with that like they they wouldn't let go and you were just you're chasing your happiness and they weren't doing it Two of Pentacles. So you could have been juggling, or they could have been juggling. Um, it could have been you juggling work, relationship, family, whatever. You know, it could have just been becoming to get too much. Um, and you feel like you needed to make a change. Yeah, so, all right. Devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. That's a blockage, though. There could have been some toxic things going on. <coughs> You ha all right, and this came up in other one of your readings. I don't know if it was the last one, but there was definitely times, Pisces, where this came up in your readings. Um, there was a lot of toxic stuff going on in past readings, so I feel like now you're finally like saying, I'm done with the toxicity, I'm done with the codependency, the whatever it is. And you finally are like, I'm focusing on me, my independence, my security, my stability, my work, my happiness. And you're cutting out all the crap, right? This person, what's blocking you from actually moving forward to this person is this old person still has some kind of a freaking hold on you. Financially, children, house and home, business, some, there's something that's still... It's like they're they're not accepting this change, this walk away, this separation. Um, you're fully accepted to it. You're you're already adjusting to it. You're already focused on something else. But they could send you those messages. I miss you. I'm sad. Come back. I need you. I want you. You know. You could still be getting that from this person, um, which. It pulls at your heartstrings a little bit, you know, um, but for the most part you are, and that's that blocking, that very first card, like you're just, you're blocking, you're not giving into it, which is good. Sorry, cross watcher, please don't hate me. All right. I can tell when the cross watcher, when I did give hard messages, because <laughs> they always get like thumbs down and I'm like, mm, that's the cross watcher. <laughs> Anyway, it's all about love. I love all of you. Sorry. Hard messages sometimes. So your person is in um, Five of Wands for the blockage, which is drama. Too many people involved. So they could have the same kind of crap that was going on too. Let's see. All right. A lot of reversals coming out in blockages, which it's funny because when I do blockages, I actually sometimes reverse the energies because it's a blockage, right? Um... <clears throat> So there's some kind of lack of communication, some kind of like overcoming drama or too many people being involved. Could be friends, family, that kind of a thing. Um, they do have a tower here. So, you know, there could have been stuff that crumbled. 
down and this is kind of like the end of it yeah all right so death and rebirth um scorpion energy scorpionic energy um and gemini energy here with the knight of swords um putting an end to hmm, being impulsive making quick decisions actions not matching their words um turning more from um just you know acting fast and not thinking things through to possibly a transformation, being more methodical, focusing more on stability. This is probably why this fell in the challenge position <clears throat> because they're going through some kind of a transformation about making impulsive decisions versus, you know, future stability. Sorry, hiccups. Um, but it's funny because this landed right under this. Both scorpionic energy, but tower death rebirth both kind of like the same you know something had to come crumbling down to rebuild change death rebirth transformation all right old to new uh, let's see what else blockages for your person so i mean that's good that they're they're ending um being impulsive you know um to more methodical uh, they could fear that you'll reject them or reject their offer. I feel like they, they, you're, I feel like you're teaching this person lessons, not bad lessons, like, like life lessons, um, balancing lessons, you know? Um, and I feel like this person really, really, really wants to charge directly towards you, but you're you're teaching them, let's take it slow, let's see where this goes, let's, you know, step by step, um, methodical, you know? Um, so I feel like this person does want to charge towards you, but they also have a fear. You could be putting a fear in them that you're not interested or you're rejecting them because you're, you're moving in a, a really strong way, you know? You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying there? Um, all right, so how do you feel towards this new person here? How do you feel towards this person? A decision of some sort needs to be made. Again, this could be someone else from your past that you're reconciling with. Oh, shit. So judgment card and ace of cups. Having a wake-up call. Um, understanding now, having a better understanding of what it is you want. And I feel like that wake up call is showing you, you can have this, this beautiful brand new love. Or, because this is how you feel towards them, you could feel like, yeah, you know, um, if they have like a little bit of a wake up call, then this is what we can have. But you feel a lot of emotions towards them. You feel like there's a, a full overflowing cup that can be had here. There's love. Uh, let's see, what else? A little bit of stress, a little bit of anxiety going on here. Um, or you could feel like this person is very stressed out. This is how you feel. Maybe they stress you out. Not in like a, a running away type energy, but um, there could be some stress here. Again, the death and rebirth card, transformation. So yeah, you are definitely seeing that this person is going through a transformation, which could be stressful. Because you're doing it too, though. You're transforming too. It's for the, it's for the better. It's not a bad... Ace of Wands, a lot of passion, putting in the work and effort. So there's love and passion here. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. You feel a lot of love and passion towards this person. For a small amount of you, it's still this person from the past needing to change. They are making a change. For others of you, this is a this is a new love. But for like 
eighty percent of you, this is or more ninety percent of you, this is this is new love. It's new love. But it could be renewed love. Worth waiting for. But getting to know each other. So I feel like there's two kind of separate stories going on here. So for some of you, this is the person that you were connected to, separated, reconnecting. Um, for others, this is new love. Just watch out for that devil energy, that toxic energy, if it is that same person. But again, that's this huge major transformation going on. Both have the death card. Um, how does this person feel towards you, Pisces? How does this person feel towards you? That's too many. How does this person feel towards Pisces? <clears throat> they see you. As a very independent, self-starting, um, looking good, feeling good, abundant, takes care of stuff, takes care of yourself. That's how they see you, as a very independent, strong person. And they're trying to manifest you and they want to take a leap of faith. Aries energy. Gemini, I think it's Libra energy. They're, they're trying to manifest you in that leap of faith. I said they're, they're a little bit afraid. They have some fear of rejection because they see you in such, they hold you in such high regard. They put you on a pedestal, this person, that I feel like they have a, they're a little bit intimidated or a little bit scared to actually make that move towards you and take that leap. But they are trying. They're trying to manifest it. If they haven't already, they're, they're trying um, to manifest it. All right, so Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords. So Aries and Libra or Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. Um, they feel like you are very attractive, sexy, fiery, passionate, driven, um, will go the distance, will be a leader, take control um, of what needs to be taken control of, but they also see that you're very blunt, truthful, honest. Um, you could sometimes communicate in like a cold type way, um, quick to the point, that kind of a thing. Um, oh, they see you as the damn star. Aquarius, Aquarius energy here. They hold you on a pedestal. They see you as like the star. You could be doing something like in the limelight or something, uh, public speaking, um, something where people um, appreciate you, look up to you, that kind of a thing, or uh, doing some kind of healing work. Um, but they, they see you as like a shining star. All right. You could be very healing to them too. Like I said, like at the beginning, you're teaching them something, like opening them up to like this whole new life. So that could also be healing, helping them heal stuff from the past or finding who they truly are, that kind of a thing. It's very inspirational uh, reading here we got going on. Um, so let's see, hopes for the outcome. What are your hopes for the outcome? Keep in mind you have free will, so it could literally change in a minute from now. So uh, hopes for the outcome here. Wow. What? I know you guys are like, what? What? <laughs> Show me the damn cards. <laughs> Look, Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords. Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords. <laughs> Uh, you could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, but um, you are hoping <sighs> oh. 
So this is how they they feel about you, right? Sexy, independent, driven, fiery, passionate, also very like truthful, blunt, honest, you know. Um, your hopes for the outcome is that <clears throat> that's how they become. <laughs> Fiery, passionate, truthful, honest, driven, powerful, chasing your dreams, going after what you want, um, being very independent, running, chasing. And I'm not saying chasing in a bad way. I'm saying like going after what you want. I have one more for the potential outcome. Page of Wands. Yeah, a lot of passion here. Um, innocent, fun, passion. There could be like a little bit of an age difference, but there could, you guys could be messaging back and forth, um, flirtatiously, you know, um, <clears throat> or you're hoping for that anyway. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, so Virgo energy. Um, take it, like I said at the beginning, taking it slow, step by step, seeing where it goes, not rushing into things. Um, I feel like there is a small part of you though, that does want this person to kind of like chase you a little bit. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like that, you know? <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, this person's hopes for the outcome. I just totally flip cards every which way. All right. What are their hopes for the outcome? <clears throat> Hopes for the outcome. Losing my voice. <sighs> to not be stuck, not be stuck in their head, um, to see things clearly, to be able to communicate. This wanted to come out, but. What else? Hopes for the outcome for Pisces person. Hopes for the outcome. Hopes for the outcome. <laughs> having that strength, confidence, courage to come towards you, Leo energy. Um, that's what they're hoping. They're hoping. Wow. 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 Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, Page of Cups. They're literally strategizing on how to find the strength, the courage, the confidence. <clears throat> to get out of their head, to see things clearly, to come freaking towards you and offer you 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles and maybe a little bit of love and passion on the side, you know? <laughs> wow. They're going to start with like a little innocent love offer. Um, but their ultimate goal here is to have it all with you. Family, home, business, security, emotional security, some passionate sex, <laughs> you know? Um, wow. They're strategizing on how to, to come towards you and offer all that. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have almost every, we have a lot of scorpionic energy. Um, we have Leo, Aries, Gemini, <clears throat> Sagittarius, pretty much the same over here. Virgo, Scorpio, Scorpio, Aries, or um, yeah, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo again. Yeah, so I think pretty much every sign is here on the board. <clears throat> wow, this was an incredible read. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm like losing my voice. You know what it is? It's the energy of this person being too afraid to come out and talk to you. <laughs> like, confess their love. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Anyway, all right, Pisces, um, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment your name below to be entered into the um, free 30-minute giveaway, um, personal reading, and uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Beyond the Moon 1111, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. Until next time, love and light, take care.